Pronunciation, pronunciation, pronunciation. This is a difficult one, as what I'm about to discuss even affects natives. Unbelievable, right? Well, some of you might sneer in disbelief, but I've found 20 words that, according to experts, most of us have been pronouncing wrong. Amazing! Number 20. Del Monte. Yep, Del Monte. Guys have been mispronouncing this name, and here is why. When it comes to pronouncing Del Monte, a great number of people split it into two syllables, instead of three. This changes the pronunciation from Del Monte to Del Mont. Notice the difference. Once again, the correct pronunciation is Del Monte. Number 19. Tag Heuer. A brief intro. This is a Swiss company which manufactures, as the CEO puts it, irresistible timepieces. That said, the majority of folks cannot pronounce the name correctly, pronouncing it Tag Heuer, largely because it is a Deutsch or German name, not an English one. See the issue here? People are trying to pronounce a Deutsch name like an English name, which is outrageous. The correct pronunciation is Tag Heuer. Number 18. Iraq and Iran. Iraq? Seriously, guys. Iraq. Iraq and Iran happen to be the countries whose names are most mispronounced. Iran as Iran and Iraq as Iraq. These two pronunciations are wrong and just short of absurd. The appropriate pronunciation of these countries, Iraq and Iran. It all boils down to English's limited phonetic resources. I cannot be E, rock cannot be rock, and Ron cannot be Ron. You can read more about this pronunciation by Tom Hartman. Number 17, Ikea. Fun fact, the founder of Ikea was once denied entry at a gala, where he was to receive a Businessman of the Year award because he had arrived via bus. More interesting is how most people mispronounce Ikea, like I just did, Ikea. Again, most Americans and Brits get this wrong, since they pronounce a Swedish name using the limited phonetics of English. IKEA had to go out of their way to correct this with an IKEA official, confirming to today that we have been pronouncing the name wrong as it was intended to be pronounced IKEA or IKEA. Though the truth is that they rightfully don't care that much about how you pronounce it. Number 16, Porsche. No fun facts here, other than that most people cannot pronounce Porsche right. Porsche, as most refer to the German automobile maker, is incorrect. The reason behind these mispronunciations range from people not wanting to sound pompous to the wrong pronunciation spreading by general word of mouth through the grapevine. However, the mispronunciation is largely attributed to English phonetics and German phonetics not being large enough to accommodate phonetics from the other language. Eventually, Porsche became fed up with people mispronouncing their brand name that they uploaded a little explainer video to their YouTube channel. From the video, the correct pronunciation is Porsche, Porsche. Number 15, Hyundai. The South Korean automaker's name is quite challenging for most English native speakers to pronounce. In Korea, the name is pronounced as Hyundai. That said, the correct pronunciation according to the BBC is location dependent because the car manufacturer promotes the brand in advertisements with different pronunciations. In the US it's pronounced Hyundai, but Hyundai in Californian dealerships. And here in the UK, included in its adverts, they pronounce it differently as Hyundai. This is another one which officially has multiple correct pronunciations. Number 14, Nike. There's been a decades-long debate regarding the pronunciation of the name of the world's largest sportswear brand, Nike. Nike or Nike? This debate culminated with two students, Ben Martin and Kendall Peters, writing to Nike's CEO, Philip Knight, seeking clarification on the contentious issue. Surprisingly, Philip Knight returned the letter having circled on Nike, bringing to an end the debate, and thus it's become official that Nike rhymes with spiky. Thanks, Martin and Peters, you two saved the day. Number 13, Hermes. Commonly mispronounced as Hermes, Hermes is a French fashion company which deals with extremely high-end commodities. That aside, pronouncing the name in the approved manner has proven difficult to most native English speakers. 
Part of the problem is that Hermes is a French company and French words are a bit challenging for English speakers. Therefore, when you pronounce Hermes, you're sure to go as French as you possibly can. The correct pronunciation is Hermes, according to International Business Times. Number 12. Ocado. Commonly mispronounced as Ocado, this is UK's leading online supermarket. That said, it's been involved in a debate about how to properly pronounce the name. This debate came to an end thanks to Kat, who posted the question to Ocado on Twitter. Here is what Ocado had to say. It's pronounced like avocado, without the av, a cardo, Ocado. This brought the end to that discussion. Number 11. Faya. This is a Greek dairy company headquartered in Athens. Not only is it recognised for incredible yoghurt and other remarkable milk products and desserts, but it's also difficult to pronounce the name. Faya is commonly mispronounced as phage, which is wrong. Part of the problem is that this is a Greek company, and English and Greek phonetics are different. That said, the correct pronunciation is Faya, as indicated on the company's website. Number 10. Volkswagen. This German automaker's name is a bit difficult for most English native speakers and we often mispronounce it as Volkswagen. Again, it boils down to phonetics. That said, Volkswagen or Volkswagen are the two correct pronunciations. The German V is pronounced as the English F. The W is pronounced as the English V and A in wagon is pronounced as A. Therefore you get Volkswagen. Number 9. Adobe. Adobe, as the computer software company is commonly referred to, is not the correct pronunciation. People mispronounce this name since they split the name into two syllables, Adobe, rather than three, Adobe, pretty much like Del Monte. Number eight, Melbourne. Looking at the name, it screams to be pronounced Melbourne. This is anything but the correct pronunciation, and listening to natives mispronounce the word can be a bit grinding. I'm sure the Aussies cringe every time they hear that. The accepted pronunciation is Melbourne, according to Learner's Dictionary, or to make it a bit easier, Melbourne. And while we're still on the topic of Aussies, it's Aussies, and not Aussie. Number seven, Dubai. This one was a kick in the teeth. I didn't expect this, but most people, myself included, have been mispronouncing Dubai. How? Well, it's mostly pronounced as Dubai, and it's become universally accepted as such. However, this is bordering on criminal and winds our Arabian brothers up. There's a pretty reasonable explanation to this. In the English context, the AI in Dubai is pronounced like I, while in Arabic, it's more like A, like in Bay. Therefore, the right pronunciation for Dubai is Dubai. Number six, Renault. Renault or Renault? This has been a bone of contention amongst most petrol heads, and even natives are at fault for mispronouncing this name. At first glance, it seems appropriate to pronounce it much like Renault, but this is wide off the mark. The bane of this problem is that this is a French company, while English phonetics and French phonetics have very few common characteristics. Therefore, the correct pronunciation is Renault. Number five, Brisbane. Okay, these Aussie names are getting out of hand. Who agrees with me that this should not be pronounced any other way if it's not Brisbane? Well, this is quite erroneous, and it all boils down to different phonetics. The right way to say it, as Oxford Learner's Dictionary put it, is Brisbane, or Brisbane. Number four, the River Thames. In the USA, more specifically Rhode Island, there is a street called Thames that's pronounced Thames. However, the river Thames found in the UK is not pronounced the same, and the Thames pronunciation is wrong. The issue stems from the evolution of the English language. When the Thames was first mentioned in 893, it was known as Thamesee. However, the H in the Thames first appears after the learned respelling that took place in England in 1649. The H is thus a learned error added in a mistaken belief that the Thames was derived from Greek. The spelling remained, but the pronunciation did not change. Therefore, the right way to say it is Thames. You can read about the river's etymology on online etymology. Number three, Lafayette. This is a town in New York. However, despite the town being in the USA, it is not pronounced as Lafayette. 
The problem here, and what most people don't realise, is that the town's name has French origins, and these have proven difficult to pronounce for most of us. The correct pronunciation is La Fillette. Number 2. Adidas There is an urban myth that Adidas is short for all day I dream about sex. Just a myth, though. Even so, despite this being one of the largest sportswear manufacturers, most people pronounce the name Adidas, which is incorrect. Guys stress the second syllable instead of the first. Adidas is the correct pronunciation. Number 1. Nutella Now, this one is proof that my whole life has been a lie. Nutella, the hazelnut spread, is pronounced na tell a right? After all, it's got nuts in it. Well, not quite, according to Ferrero, the company that manufactures it. In the UK, Nutella is acceptable. However, in the US of A, the correct pronunciation is Nutella. This came as a bolt from the blue, when Nutella confirmed it on their website in the FAQ section. BuzzFeed went on to send a letter seeking clarification on the matter, and here is what Nutella had to say. Ferrero, the makers of Nutella, aren't trying to encourage a common worldwide pronunciation on this. In the UK, we call it and pronounce it Nutella, as do consumers. The US pronunciation, referring to Nutella, is just for them. Evidently, most of these issues with pronunciations stem from differences in phonetics. Which of these words surprised you the most? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like and subscribe, hitting that bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching.